Good morning, Internet. Um, yeah, so I left um, the upload running like overnight last night um, from the day before yesterday, the vlog from the day before yesterday. It is still on 34%. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with my Internet again. Um, we are going to hope that it doesn't have anything to do with my internet. I think it just has to do with the file size. The file size is actually a lot larger, but I never really thought that it would ever, ever, like a YouTube video would ever take that long to upload up onto YouTube. So, anyways, um, yeah. So it's still on 34% um, since all day yesterday, um, last night, and yeah, so, great. Hey guys, so this is kind of what my, good morning, this is kind of what my living area looks now after yesterday. These are all shoes. I have so many shoes and other stuff and technology and I don't know what to do with it. There's no space. Yes. Ah, uh, better lighting. Um, so yeah, the living area is kind of a big mess. And the weather, as always, is not, well, it's not always bad. It's actually usually pretty nice and bright and sunny. Um, but just like yesterday, um, it's kind of like um, gloomy weather, kind of like, it looks It looks kind of like it's going to rain. Because um, I think yesterday, I think I heard like a thunder, but um, at some point in the day, because um, yesterday when I got up, it was like, it was still kind of cloudy looking kind of day. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to go get some breakfast. And I don't even understand why my vlog is taking so long to upload, guys. I cannot understand. And then another update is that I need to, um, I need to get my CPR because, um, I work you know, as a medical professional. And, and so in order for me to return back to work, I have to get my CPR updated. So I'm gonna go look for um, some CPR, some local CPR classes, and I'm going to try and see how much they're gonna cost, and then I'm gonna go and um, get my CPR certified again. Not that I'm already not certified. I've been certified ever since I became a medical professional. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, I mean, every, pretty much it expires about after six months to a year. So you always have to up, um, up, date it or recertify basically yourself to um to the CPR in order to like get jobs and stuff. I'm gonna feed the cat over here. One of them's already eating the other one. So the vlog is like slowly inching its way up to like getting finished like ever since I got up it's still been like a couple of percentages like now it's up to 38%. Um, I think I think once like the computer like went to sleep last night because um, I mean it the screen wasn't like on like all night so. 
So, I, I think once it went to sleep, I think probably it stopped uploading. I don't know what makes sense to you guys. So I believe that there's like a setting um, in, the, in the preferences that whenever there's still like some activity going on, um, such as like uploading, um, that your computer will still continue to work. Um, and maybe stay awake still and not like go to sleep. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Leave it in the comment section. Time for some love. This cauliflower, chopped cauliflower, got onion, garlic, potato, and go. Time for some lunch. So we got some cauliflower here in this. I think there's some water in there. We got an onion, half onion, uh, garlic, some potato. Cooking. How many? How many pounds is this? Two pounds. Two pounds. Okay. All right, guys. So here's here's what's going on. So basically, oh, oops, my cat almost got in the door crazy okay so basically what's been going on here is that as soon as I I mean it's normal like as soon as I walk away from my desktop my iMac um, it will go to sleep and basically what happens when it goes to sleep is the internet will either slow down speeds or it will just disconnect like the Wi-Fi will just disconnect um, so, so I figured it out. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and upload. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start um, editing my vlog from yesterday and um, uploading it onto my Mac. And then I'm going to also um, uh, edit it and then edit it on iMovie and then upload it to YouTube as soon as I get done. So hopefully like... Um, we will keep that in mind for the future. The, um, Jigglypuff. Come here. Kitty. Jigglypuff, look at me. Look at me. What were you doing just now? Huh? What were you doing? What were you doing? Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, so just to kind of recap, like, um, right now I'm actually in the process of editing vlog from yesterday, um, and it's saying that it's going to be approximately four hours, um, so once, so what I'm doing is I actually, I went ahead and I edited it out, and, um, you know, um, I went ahead and I, like, created the video on iMovie and then what um after after once once I'm done doing that I will um finalize the project um and then that takes about four hours so according to iMovie it's going to take like several hours now once that project is actually finalized it can then be used to upload onto YouTube so um but that initial four hours I I I think um, has like you have to um, you have to take that four hours and um, let it finalize the project um, so and then once that project is finalized and um, you're done with iMovie then um, what I'll go ahead and do is uh, we'll move on to YouTube and then I will actually be able to upload um, from there onto YouTube so, um, yeah. So, like, when I'm uploading to YouTube, it might take, like, for example, the vlog from the day before yesterday. It's currently still trying to upload. It's been, it's on 68%. And basically, um, 
the issue um, that I had discussed which was happening before was when I would walk away from my desktop it would go to sleep which would cause um, my desktop to disconnect from the internet like automatically so if anybody knows how to change the settings on that uh, do leave it in the comment section um, but but yeah but Ever since I kind of found out about that problem, I've just been sitting at the desktop just making sure that the internet is continuously um, connected and um, that way the vlog will continue to load and, it, um, and my desktop won't sleep. Um, so right now it's still on 68%. Um, I'm... And then so now vlog from yesterday is um, finalizing so that's going to take another four hours and then probably maybe hopefully not uh, quite as long to upload onto YouTube but I'm going to go ahead and try to upload that along with the vlog from the day before yesterday. Um, it might just happen that um, if I do both at the same time, one of them might upload before the other one. Um, I'm hoping that that um, the day before yesterday, like it does happen, like in um, in a um, um, like I'm hoping that it will happen, like um, like chronically like correctly um by day um so i'm hoping that the day before yesterday will be up first um uploaded and then um and the day and then yesterday's will be up um after that but if it's not the case then i guess we'll just have two vlogs at the same time just to make up for that one lost day which was yesterday so um fingers crossed all right, so this is what I'm gonna be having for, for lunch, guys. And if you wanna know what this strange metal concoction is, this is actually an item that belongs to my aunt in Pakistan. Um, yeah, her name is Auntie Kosar. <laughs> um, and so, and then this, this is also hers. Um, this is a metal, um, spoon obviously it's just to stir with but but yeah also um, belonging to my aunt auntie coaster and then so um, let me check what's what's going on in here all right so my mom's actually making um, our lunch right now I think what it looks like here is well what we've got is um, some onions and what she's actually doing is roasting the meat and then um, and then we got some tomatoes, so we got chopped onions and tomatoes, um, the meat, um, probably chili powder, salt, and turmeric, um, and um, maybe, I don't know what else she's added in there. Um, obviously oil is probably in there too. Um, but yeah, so this is actually on a simmer right now, and probably it's going to be... Um, allowing the the meat to get tender so um furthermore on this this metal um this metal pot here is what we've got so this is the lid it's like a little hat <laughs> they actually in pakistan so we actually utilize this obviously for cooking but they can be utilized for other things as well like water like in, if um you know if you have to walk down like especially for um um, women that don't um, work we just like walk down to where you know we would get water and then we would just get gather the water in this this pot or perhaps a a um, a, um, a, a, um, a clay uh, pot that looks like this it's in the same shape um, and those can also be used for cooking um, these things have been around for centuries um, and yeah so one more look zoom in yeah these are very very common so um so this is cauliflower like I showed you guys earlier 
and then um, there's some chopped potato or yeah in there so we're gonna add that later once the once this goat or the meat over here it gets tenderized um, then um, you know we will go ahead and proceed to add this because this is all vegetable and it will take um, nearly like one-fourth of the time it would take to cook the beef or the um, the goat in here Coffee. Okay. So my mom just added the cauliflower and potatoes. Alright. How long is this going to cook for? Alright, so this strawberries was in my fridge for a day. And look at that. I don't know how I missed this when I was at the grocery store. There's, there must be something wrong with me. Look at that. So this is how it looks when it's almost done. Voila. So there's some potato pieces right here and some goat and this is cauliflower. So Hey guys, so I'm on my desktop here and I was just like looking um, on Ikea for like beds and I really like this one. I don't know um, what y'all's opinion would be on this one. It's only like $70 and I think it's really great. So it's just a bed frame but I'm thinking to get one of these and I'm thinking to get one for my mom so we can both have this since we currently don't have any beds. Made some tea. This is your traditional English tea and the way that you make it is um, put a little water and um, put some loose tea grounds um, in the water and then let it come to a boil and then add milk and then let that come to a boil and then um, it should come out to kind of like a light brown color and then yep so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and update my uh, my operating system to Mac OS Sierra so Fingers crossed, hope this works. So again, since like I've been trying to recover my password for my um, my Apple ID, it's, um, I've been having like difficulty like trying to do anything with my Mac um, as far as updates go. Uh, but yeah, but for this, I'm gonna go ahead and try to um, update this now and um, yeah and it's actually updating now I'm kind of excited like what the uh, Mac OS Sierra is going to be like before it was El Capitan and uh, before that I think it was Yosemite um, yeah, so, um, and then also my vlogs from yesterday and the day before yesterday should be up and um, you should be able to, or are up and you should be able to go and view those. Thanks. Always remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, yeah, guys, so, um, both of the vlogs, um, yeah, uh, they're both up, 
so um, be sure to check those out and this is currently um, my screen it says about 30 minutes remaining so I'm really really excited it's gonna up update um, my Mac um, to um, to Mac OS Sierra so I can't wait Hey guys, um, so I just want to go ahead and um, thank you all for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos and liking and sharing and commenting. Um, and uh, also, um, so just to recap, so like in the in my last couple of vlogs, so um, I um, like showed how to do um, the bread. So, um, if you are learn like interested in see seeing how to make um, that bread, then I would definitely go check that out. Um, yeah, so it's like a round bread. Um, so yeah. So just to recap, like um, in the last couple of vlogs, I've just been. Um, uh, showing how to make the um showing how to make the round bread and and then in the in the vlog uh after that um it was about um it was basically about like the updates that I currently have to do on my computer um, so currently I am like still in the process of like updating right here. It's going to update to the uh, Mac OS um, Sierra. So um, yeah, still it's 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 still slowly inching along um, to update and I'm going to see what other updates I have to do and yeah hey guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and film this um so i always wanted to show you guys um this freeman um it's it's a facial mask this is a product it's the uh, freeman um um so this is the freeman feeling beautiful facial peel off mask in cucumber um so i always wanted to kind of like show you guys how it works um so basically um you just apply it all over the face like i've done and then wait until it's dried which is normally about five to ten minutes you don't want to leave it on for much longer than that um sometimes if you're new to doing facials um i would just leave it on there for about like the initial five minutes just to see how your skin would react because sometimes people just um, will have like a totally adverse reaction and that's not cool so all right so here we go I'm now peeling it off and I'm becoming a new person all right So that part wasn't like entirely dried, but anyway, I love this um, facial mask. I have, um, yeah, I absolutely love it. And then um, if this doesn't like peel off, like entirely then it says on the um the actual um the the tube or however you want to call it the packaging like it says that you can go ahead and wash it off with soap so i would probably recommend that and now i'm just going to go ahead and wash this off hey guys so i'm just going to do like a quick little video of me doing some makeup so this is not really going to be full face so 
this I'm applying a little aloe cocoa butter chopstick for a smoother application and normally once you um, clean your face uh, with the, the Freeman's um, gel mask you'll you'll go ahead and you'll apply some moisturizer because um, that will close up the pores once you do that mask it normally will leave your pores open which is really not safe for your skin um, and then so I'm just going to do like a quick little lip tutorial here for you guys and then earlier this week I used another um, mud mask um, it's oh, by Elizabeth oh, Arden so this right here this is MAC uh, lip pencil it's called Soar I don't know if you can see that, but, um, yeah, sore, or, yeah. So I just took Sore by MAC and I'm just going to fill in my entire lips. Uh, with the pencil. This is practically like a lip substitute, lipstick substitute. Alright, and then for the lip color, we're going to use, let's see what I got here. I have um, Rouge Artiste in Intense number 40 by Makeup Forever. I also have this uh, number 32 with Makeup Forever. And I have Audrey by NYX. I love this, this color. Um, I also have YSL number, mm, number it doesn't have a number on it, but here's the color. It's like a really nice nude color. I'm almost out. I need to get another one of these. And... See what I got. This is Revlon number 654, Ravish Me Red. So I think I'm gonna use this one. I haven't used this one in a while. I absolutely love it. It's sort of like a mad orange color um, by Makeup Forever. And it kind of like, it looks kind of orange, but I think it's their version of the red. Um, so I'm just going to apply this over the lips. Normally I will not fill in the border of my lip because once I've applied the lip liner, I like the lip liner to show a little bit as well. It just makes your lips, it just makes my lips appear a bit more full. This is a really vibrant uh, reddish orange, sort of m mad orange color. I 
ideally you'd probably want to use something that was um, uh, some eye, some lip liner that would match this color a bit more um, but because we don't I don't really like to um, make my lips too vibrant orange looking unless I wanted to um, match it to a dress for example um, I I wouldn't own an orange lip liner but that would definitely definitely uh, make this color pop much more There you go, guys. Done with my lipstick. I really like this color. I think it is um, something really awesome. Um, I don't know. I just, I guess I... I'm just into red, red uh, shades <laughs> a lot. So yeah, um, I really like Makeup Forever. Like I, I don't have um, too much against it, but I think I'm more into um, sort of um, longer-lasting lipsticks. I feel like Makeup Forever kind of. Um, it's really really long lasting and it's really high quality makeup so I mean nothing against makeup forever but um, I really would like something like more kind of more bright because the way that it appears off camera it's not the same like on camera it appears really really um, really bright kind of the matte orange like I described um, but on my lips like in person it doesn't appear quite as bright so I wonder what's up with that um, yeah so but highly recommended highly recommended it. it's really good for photography obviously in pictures here's the er the product from earlier to the finished the final product from earlier today. So this is lamb with uh, or goat with um, potato and cauliflower. Um, it's sort of like a curry and then um, very spicy and this is what I'm eating it with. This is obviously a tortilla that I'm eating it with. All right, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and call it a day for today guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching throughout the end of the vlog um, leave a comment in the comment section put a like if you like the vlog and um, subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next one bye